And finally, I just want to discuss uh, six possible molding processes that are available if you're using 3D printed molds. So over here in the top left, we talked a lot about injection molding, but you can also rely on casting. So we'll have it where you can print, say, in castable wax resin from Formlabs, you can print your master. And so we have a lot of jewelers who are doing this. So they'll print the master, they'll coat it in a very high temp resistant ceramic material, and then they can burn out that wax master. And now you have a cavity where you can pull in you know, molten metal. So those are available. You also have over molding where you can actually sit the actual physical part, which is uh, in this case, some kind of like earpiece. You can sit that into the mold and then you can pour a, say a flexible material over it and it'll coat it. You can also do like a compression mold where you mix uh, like uh, part A and part B of a putty and you squeeze it into the cavity and you use um, high pressure like a vise for instance to squeeze that real tight and fill all the crevices of the, of the cavity and then you can just kind of scrape away any of the remnants and remnants that have exuded out through the, the parting line. Now uh, down here in the, in the lower left we're looking at uh, thermo and vacuum forming. So here you can see we're making a, a case, kind of the top lid for a straight razor. And so that's where you can uh, physically print your master and then you can uh, use that to then create um, your, your product from there. Uh, silicon molding is like really basic. Uh, again, kind of like what I was talking about with casting or, or even the, the vacuum forming method here. You're actually printing the master and then you're just pouring in silicon and then removing the master once that silicon is cured and that way you have the cavity there to be, to be able to pour in whatever material you want. And lastly, at composite molding down here in the, the lower right, our final one, that's a, uh, again where you're, you're kind of creating a, it's kind of a, a blend between creating the master and, and just creating a, a, you know, just a basic mold. And that way you can, you know, overlay your, your fiber layup and epoxy over it and form it to that, 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 uh, that mold there.